Hey guys, in this video I'm going to prepare graphic assets for parallax animation. You can see this animation over here. As you can see, the car is still in the middle of the screen, but thanks to the background movement we got this illusion of motion. So I'm going to prepare all backgrounds elements and car today using Affinity Designer. This is Vector Editor. In my case, this is Affinity Designer, but you can also use Adobe Illustrator, Color Draw, or free stuff like Gravit Designer, or maybe even Inkscape. I'll be basing on simple shapes like this rectangle, and also some of the pathfinding and pen tool. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to create all assets today. If you are interested in the animation part and you want to skip that, you can just download all assets from this video, link in the description, and jump to the next one, to part two, where I'm going to put all together in the wig editor. As you can see, I already used rectangle tool to create a road. Now I'm adding some lines. I'm going to duplicate them because we're going to create this long backgrounds that going to slide in front of the viewer to create this motion effect. Okay, I'm using shortcut here. Ctrl J to duplicate the line as you can see. Now this part is really long. I'm going to group that. This will be the longest part of my background because the st stuff close to the viewer should move really fast and elements in the back should scroll slowly. So we got this filling of depth. Okay, we got, uh, we got our road already. Now it's time to create a car. As I mentioned, I'm going to use only simple tools so anyone can follow. You don't need any artistic skills. I just add circle inside the circle and here's our wheel. Duplicate that. And now I'm going to use pen tool to make a base shape of my little car.
and our car is ready. Now I'm going to make copies of it. Let's scale it down a little bit. I'm dragging the car, holding Alt key to make a copy duplicate of it. And here I would like to move it a little bit up. So we will have this animation of movement and I will rotate the wheel. I want to spin the wheel around. Okay, like this and also the back wheel, same way, same direction. Okay, I think I'm going to need one more copy. Too big to fit in our artboard so I'm going to drag it here okay and again this time I will move it a little bit down and rotate the wheel Okay, that's the main reason I add a little screws there. So we got this feeling of rotation. Do I need one more copy to rotate the wheel? Let me check, I'm not sure. One, two, no, it's back to the main position. So we just need three frames here. I can delete this copy. This will be not necessary. Just three copies enough we can put it all together as very short nest animation and i will show you that in the second video we got three copies of car where i going to when they already rotate the wheel and i also lift the car up on one of these frames to got this feeling of movement of motion Okay, we got our car, road and belt of grass. Now I'm going to add some trees. Very simple shapes. Circle and triangle. And it's time for the last element background 
are going to build some simple skyline city line using mostly rectangles like this really simple background we got rectangles joined together to build a illusion of buildings city in the background And all of my resources are ready to be exported. As you can see, we got road and some grass. This will not move, so it's just size of the one screen. Then I got the longest part, lines for the road, car itself, just three frames. Then we got lines of trees, shorter than the road line, and background buildings the shortest element here okay I'm ready to export so file export I'm going to save all of them as PNGs with transparent background and next in our next video I will import them to wig editor and animate all together so please follow to the next video to be to part two we are going to do the parallax animation in the week editor. Thank you for today and see you next time.